So a couple of things. Uh, I guess I could start with this. Yesterday, I was invited to uh, participate in a um, art event uh, downtown, and um, I accepted. It was a gracious invitation, and I really appreciated it. Um, I have been to that event. It's called Zine Fest. Several for several years. And actually, I featured in a couple of their compilations. Uh, this one's 2016. This one's 2017. Um, and they've always treated me well. Uh, first, though, I want to um, show you this. Yes, the chair is participating in this video. I've had some trouble setting this up with the mic and everything. I can hear the mic. It's picking up some RF. Well, you know, I mean, the spectrum is being toyed with to such an extent now that uh, uh, we're heading towards a large degree of confusion uh, electronically as well as culturally. But it will start to manifest itself electronically, which will be a surprise for everyone. But first, this is uh, some of the uh, work that I just recently finished. Um, and this is a part of a series of seven pieces that is called New Art for Tomorrow. And so these are going to be for sale um, at $50 a piece. There's seven of them. Uh, $50 a piece or $300 for all seven, which can be arranged in any manner. Uh, they're squares. Uh, not exactly sure. Probably one foot by one foot. And um, they're part of a really nice series. All right. So look for those on my website. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm trying to set up my shop. I'm trying to figure out the shop configuration, the best way to uh, put those up for sale. But uh, if you go to tardyartist.com, it'll be explained there where you can purchase them. Um, back here. Uh, behind me, you can see uh, Dali's painting, which I've been uh, working with a lot in the past two weeks. Um, and I'll get more into that some other time, but uh, I've renamed this painting. It's called The Persistence of uh, Memory. I've renamed it The Persistence of Dali. And uh, there's a lot to say about that, uh, but I thought it was fitting to put that painting up today. Um, Okay, back to Zine Fest. Now, Zine Fest uh, is an interesting sort of um, get together of small indie artists slash publishers who put uh, out their small indie made uh, books and magazines. It's handcrafted, which is uh, yeah an interesting facet of it when you think about it, and. Um, I was invited, so I went down. This year, uh, they were featured in the uh, City Book, interestingly titled City Book. Uh, and um, I guess I'll start with this. Um, now, regarding the Dolly painting on the side, there's something on the back of this Rolex Oyster watch. I will not get into that. But what I will get into is this. We're at a great time of confusion right now. And this is what I want to talk about. It all feeds in. So I'll just uh, talk in a stream of consciousness random manner. We're in a great state of confusion right now um, in terms of the culture. Uh, not just in America, not just in the West, but certainly worldwide. And... Uh, there's all kinds of reasons for that, and that's, you know, the whys are not important. The what's are what are important. 
The important thing is uh, where we're at right now, which is a huge state of confusion. Now, um, that state of confusion has created a breach, a break in the continuum. And that's where we find ourselves today. When a break in the continuum is um, a very, very, uh, both uh, destructive, dangerous, uh, and possibly uh, holds potential, but is a dangerous area to be in. It holds potential, of course, obviously, uh, of unfolding new vis vistas, but it, it, it's, a very, it's, a, it's a very dangerous place to be in. We're in, at a break in the continuum. Um, so this magazine, which is, uh, has, has stepped into uh, the role of promoting what they see as, uh, I guess, uh, valid, um, sophisticated culture uh, in uh, the city of Houston, which is becoming one of, quickly becoming one of the largest cities in America, is uh, interesting because um, it points to something that's going on in the culture. First of all, here's a, here's a picture of some very powerful women. Here's a page called Feeder. And at the bottom, it says female energy. So, uh, interesting association there. Uh, who are these females feeding on? And you'll see right here who they're feeding on is the male castaway or castrated away male. Let me show you this. I, I might scan these, but I might not. Castrated away male wearing his little red shoes. And uh, the men, the castrated away men, are being relegated to being men of the house. Uh, and, um, you know, they're being tamed. Essentially, men are being tamed. And how do women tame men? Obviously, this is their most powerful weapon. Um, you know, drab to fab, you know, because these, this is essentially this page right here, which I think is supposed to be an ad. Drab to fab is actually, this is actually a uh, weapons list. This is a list of weaponry, and this is actually a way. This is how to clean your gun. This is how to clean your gun. Obviously, you know, once the man is a man of the house and a plush home, what the woman is going to have to do in her plush home is look for artificial stimulation, not to say artificial insemination, which of course is part of the problem as well. And I would say the term artificial is extremely germane to uh, what I'm talking about today. That is, we're stepping into a new artificial type of world and the artifice being, not the orifice, uh, being what is uh, constructed in our minds by uh, virtual reality and artificial intelligence so and sex robots and uh, the coming event horizon of the singularity that the silicon valley loves to talk about and of course yeah all these guys you know are good sports um, because they are letting the women tell them what to do we need to be very wary of their sex appeal and the devil may care. Now, that's, that's important. I'm glad, I'm glad that that popped up because in this breach that now exists, the uh, break in the continuum that I'm talking about of the culture, there are forces that are attempting to step in. When I say this is a dangerous time, that's what I mean. This is a very dangerous time because when a gap is created, when a void is created, that void is going to get filled, obviously. 
what it gets filled by is going to impact the future. Now, we need to be very careful to not let it get filled by the devil may care. The gap is here. We're at the point of stretching and breaking the continuum. And now in the middle where there's nothing is uh, <clears throat> where we need to bridge the gap. Practically the whole extent of all the facets of art and culture right now is retrogressive and confused at the same time because if you're walking while looking backwards you don't really know what you're going to bump into or if you're going to walk off the cliff so we have to be very careful about that and uh not permit an attitude of devil may care because um, the devil will guide you towards the cliff which you will happily walk off walking backwards, looking at the shiny object that is in the past. Today we're in retrogressive mode, rear view mirror mode, as Marshall McLuhan says. But the interesting part about this uh, magazine was that I just happened to buy, happened uh, upon it uh, through um, objective randomness, as uh, the serialists uh, like to say, in context with the um, zine fest that I was invited to and of course the zine fest is mentioned paperback in this magazine paperback referring to um the rear view mirror of the culture where uh, whereas when when we step into a breach like a break in the continuum that we're in now the uh, only thing that is left to do or the thing that most uh people will do is start looking backwards and that's that's where we're at right now all art today is retrogressive and uh so you know zine fest is paper back um back to paper you know when we're in the now we're in the paperless society do you guys remember when they were telling us that we're in the paperless society well all of a sudden people are going well wait a minute where's the paper back Okay, so in the, pro the, the thing about, and I just about said problem. So the problem about ZineFest is that um, it is a forum for this grand confusion or this, this uh, group of, I would say, not necessarily uh, badly intentioned people, but certainly confused people. And par for the course, we're in a confusing state of the culture. Uh, now, look, if you look at this page, you know, next to the picture of these two girls is obviously a nut cracker. Um, and finishing with the zine fest, this is my, my zine fest tag. And the picture is a woman wrestler sitting on a man. And obviously, you know, she's subdued the man and she's in charge casually uh reading a zine okay so it's important to be aware of where we are today uh, retro fits um in regards to the culture and in regards to what we're stepping into which is this breach that has been created with through the break in the continuum and uh again the, the it ends the magazine ends with the rolex oyster watch with the crown this is very important but that i will get into later persistence of dolly okay um that was the intro to what i want to talk about uh, the break in the continuum um, is manifesting through this confu this great deal of confusion and the arts which are uh, I guess the called that's why it's called the avant-garde because the art arts are the avant-garde of the culture so in, in a sense when you want to know where the culture is going you look at the arts that's what the arts that's the role the arts fulfill typically is that they point to the coming culture.